with John Terry ditched as England's skipper after his sexual shenanigans. John Terry has been sacked as England captain. Steven Gerrard ended up as captain for the World Cup and after two disappointing draws against the USA and Algeria, the fans expected their leader to stand up and put things right. The stage was set for Captain Gerrard. Hang on, what's John Terry doing here? Yep, it seemed forgetful Terry still thought he was the captain. He might have thought, well, you can take the captaincy away, but you can't stop me from captaining the team. I've said since I lost the armband, nothing's ever changed for me. The same way, you know, if you got sacked, you might just keep turning up at work until there was a restraining order. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and question the manager. All I can say is I'm, I'm here on behalf, of, on behalf of the team and the players. And it starts off fairly innocuously because he says, listen, I'm not here to criticise the manager. And then he did, revealing he and other players were going to give manager Fabio Capello what for at an impending team meeting. There's no point keeping it in whether you know we have an argument with the manager or it upsets him, us expressing our opinions. Everyone needs to get off their chest exactly how they're feeling. Rebel, rebel, on your dress. Afterwards, me and all the people just looked at each other and we were just sort of thought, did he, did he just say that? I mean, when he said, doesn't matter if Capella doesn't like what, what he's going to hear. I was like, OK. Wow. And it was just an incredible, incredible moment. I think it was born out of frustration. And I think it was personal frustration from his point of view and also the way that the team was. Maybe there's, there'll be a few of us sent home after this evening. He's there thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, I can start an uprising here. Yeah, everyone still loves me. But there was one small problem. Who's with me? Who's with Who's with me? Yeah? No? And here I go again on my own. Suddenly all the players go, well, I never told him to say it, and they all turn away and they all dip into the shadows and, well, he did it on his own. Yes, Terry wasn't leading a revolution. He was staging a one-man coup. I've come here to win this tournament, you know, I don't want to go home on, on Wednesday. A lot of players saw it as an attempt of his to kind of seize control I think it backfired badly. He was trying to get back at Fabio Capello for sacking him as England captain. It's plain and simple. Capello was chillingly blunt. The group wing always against one. And at the team meeting, no players, not even brave John Terry, uttered a word. Fabio Capello obviously wasn't going to like it. I wouldn't have liked it. Fabio Capello wasn't going to like it. And when Fabio Capello says he will regret it, he will, he will make him regret it at some point. You kind of expected Terry to wake up the next morning with a horse's head in his bed, didn't you? The man with a reputation as a philanderer had now only succeeded in shafting himself. He, for me, should never play for England again. Nobody wanted him as the new leader in the dressing room, and that's why it was one of the shortest revolutions you'll ever see.